Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video come back to Loch Lomond I'm actually at the Loch Lomond uh, shores so the, the main bit of the Loch Lomond shores development is just down that way behind me and where I'm going into is the Loch Lomond Bird of Prey Centre they do know that I'm coming I have organised to be here so they know that I'm filming and I think they are hoping to be able to let me see some of the birds flying so fingers crossed um, yeah, so if you are interested in seeing what to do and seeing what's going on with the Bird of Prey Centre, I will post a link to their website in the description bar below and in the pinned comment in the comment section. So you can look, the, look them up on their website. And before I do head out, if you are enjoying my channel, if you are enjoying my videos, if you can click on the subscriber button, click on that notification bell, Leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page and the channel's TikTok account in the description bar below and in the pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out of the road, just going to grab my bag, grab my phone and head on in. Yeah, that's the main bit of uh, local Home Shores down there. That's where shops are. And across this way. There's the entrance into the Bird of Prey Centre. So they've got over 35 birds of prey and owls. Uh, so that's information for you if you want to come along. I'm hoping to be able to get along to the Half Three Flying Show. So this is a little kind of map of the Bird of Prey Centre. And the Tony Owls being very talkative. <coughs> I think some of those are also out in this little area here. So we've got buzzards and falcons. We've got red kite. And to have some eagle owls as well. Don't think they can quite make him out or make her out. Just hiding behind the mesh. Yeah, and they also have some vultures here as well.
And then we have a golden eagle here. And they do have a wee education room. Which they obviously use to teach about birds of prey. And if you're wanting to treat yourself to a little something, we do have a, a little souvenir shop. So we'll go through this way. And a lot of cuddly toys as well. Yeah, the bird of prey display is going to be starting soon. So I'm just going to be heading over to the display area, which is just a wee bit ahead of me. So speak this what with the guy who runs the place. Really nice guy. Um, it does look like it's going to be a really good display. I think the last week I couldn't really put any, any displays on because the weather was a bit not really conducive to, to flying. So, hopefully I'm going to be enjoying this one and seeing a lot of different birds. So this is the flying area here. I'm sorry, I can't get in just now. But when, I think it's about five minutes before the display starts, they'll start letting us in. DNA tests done. Oh, wow. 
Now I'll see it again, unless he visit. it. And um, it's a very unusual species. Um, this is a species called a hazard. And uh, it is a very fitting name for this bird because he has an absolute flying hazard. And a hazard is a cross between a Harris hawk and a buzzard. And what makes this bird even more peculiar um, is the fact that this bird has been found in the UK. Now, the Harris hawk is from North and South, South America, the buzzard is from the UK and Europe. So, why are we finding them in the UK? Uh, and there is only one reason for it, it's the fact that there are no licenses needed to own birds of prey in the UK, anybody can have one. Someone gets a Harris hawk as a first bird, doesn't know what they're doing, and the bird gets away. Yeah. The European buzzard, female. Now, she's been with us since September last year, she was given to by a friend of me. Um, unfortunately, when she arrived, she had a few Chicks actually are really good with nutrition, they're good for hydration. Um, he'll also get mice as well, he'll get a bit of quail if I want him a bit fatter. Well, that's me back from a visit to the Loch Lomond Bird of Prey Centre here at Loch Lomond Shores. And as I have been here on previous occasions, uh, it is just a, one of those places that is which is really nice to come and visit and be able to come and learn about different birds of prey, be able to see the different displays. As I did show earlier on, they do have three displays through the day. Again, weather depending. And they have different themes for each of the, th the displays during the day. Because I think it's British birds, American birds, and birds of the world. Uh, so you do get the chance to see different birds of prey from different parts of the world. So as an interesting place to come and learn about different birds of prey. And I'm glad I did get a chance to see one of the displays here today. And I do hope that the, the footage that I took during the display does actually uh, at least convey something of the display itself. Because I, I think it is kind of difficult to catch everything about the birds, especially when they're in flight, because they can't be particularly fast. And it does kind of, it does really very much highlight how quick these birds are. But the staff are really friendly, uh, really helpful, and really glad they came along today. And so I did have enjoyed my visit to the Bird of Prey Centre here at the Loch Lomond Shores. Uh, hopefully you will be intrigued what you've seen in the video. And uh, if you are ever in the, Lo the Loch Lomond and Trussell National Park, or if you're just in, a, in a Loch Lomond Shores, definitely go along and visit the Bird of Prey Centre at Loch Lomond Shores. Definitely worth a visit. It's definitely really friendly. Great place to go and learn about bird the Bird of Prey. And yeah, it was definitely really helpful. 
really informative, really knows her stuff. Definitely worth a visit. So hopefully you will have enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.